What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Panini Certified Football. This is an eight-box break. Pick your team's number six. The second half of the case just sold out. All cards ship. And here we go. Yeah, guys, we had to do a team random or a little pack filler. Jared has the Steelers in this one. Chad has the Titans. Second half of the case. So we just finished the first half. Very nice stuff coming out of there. Let's see what this second half holds. And is hiding. Now I'm going to rip two boxes at a time. I feel like it's uh, working out pretty good there. And then we'll go through the hits after that. Danny Gray. I mean, I'm no expert in, like, Dodgers prospects, though, Rex, but uh, he is definitely one of the top Dodger prospects from that class for Bowman's first. So if you want to hold something, I would definitely hold that. I think, they're, I think they think he's going to be pretty good. Brees Hall to 299. As you can see, that's why that purple already sells for as much as it does, you know? Probably was actually going for a little bit more when the product first came out, but obviously, like I said, I mean, it's just kind of normal. But, um, yeah, I would, if you were going to hold something, definitely use those bones first, though. Especially because, obviously, you know, he's not up yet. Darius Leonard. Jelani Woods to uh, 149. That was a nice Breeze Hall there for the Jets, Matt Johnson, too. Izukama, relic there for the Miami Dolphins. Chris uh, for the Steelers. Hello, Dad. Uh, sorry. Oladokun. Oladukun, I assume, maybe. Sorry. Not the brightest. Uh, Zamir White. <laughs> we got John Dodson. I do love the finish on this though. It's like a little chrome on top. Amonra. Pierre Strong for the Pats to 149. 
Jameson Williams. Nice patch right there. Look at that. Three color patch. Shoo. Very nice. And that's to 25. 17 to 25. Who has the lines? Jonathan does. He should be back soon, man. That dude was a stud. Unfortunately, got injured, so had to miss the start of the season. Uh, I think at the end of an Alabama career, right? All right, we got Jelani Woods. Gold team, that is a Kirk Cousins. Kyron Williams for the 49, no, 49, sorry, Rams. Los Angeles Rams, that is going to Derwin. You got Gabe Davis. Little Drake London. Taekwon Thornton. Nice, little small save for your cards. It's always good to have those protected. You know, especially the higher value ones. You just never know. Eli Mitchell. Right there for the Broncos to 325. Josh Allen. Are you crazy? Just fight behind those chainsaws. They are, Rex. They are. But uh, when it comes to Bowman's first, I mean, I think the, the whole deal is that you want to keep those guys for as long as you can because if they turn out to be studs, you know, you don't want to regret it later. But uh, I think the mixer spot you won was like, I don't know, I don't even remember how much you spent in that. That's always my, that's always been my motto. Is that if I can get back at least what I spent on the card, I shouldn't have no regrets holding it. And if I made a profit, I shouldn't have no regrets either. Because nobody could predict when players will just boom and bust. I think just Mike Trout and those guys are the standard. Juan Soto, all, all those guys that just balled out at such a young age and made it to the league. Exactly. So you probably spent no more than a hundred dollars, probably. Easily. That's always been my motto. I could have. I, I still have one big card. I think the biggest card I have in my collection. My my cards don't really sell for too much. I mean, my Jalen Hurts have actually gone up a lot. I mean, my, my Prism Silver rookie autograph, a couple honor autographs I have and stuff. They they've probably gone up to six, seven, maybe a thousand dollars. But the biggest card I still have in my collection that I held on to and I don't regret it. Is a Zion Williamson Prism Silver rookie PSA 10. I bought a box of retail when it first came out. I bought it for like less than a hundred dollars the box at the time. I pulled the Zion, it was like pack fresh. I graded it, got a 10. I think at the time when the pandemic was just booming, those shits were like four or five thousand dollars. I was almost gonna sell it, but I just really believed in the guy. And that was my motto again, is if I can get back $100, fuck it, you know, whatever. And uh, obviously, you know, he's been injured since then, but he's finally back this year, and I really, really do believe in the guy. I think he's going to do well. So if he does have a good uh, good season this year and his stuff goes up back to that four or $5,000 card, which it could, honestly. Pelicans are really good. I'll probably get rid of it this year, too. You know? Um... But that's one of the cards, of course, that I've held on to. But I don't really have any regrets. It still sells for like 2000 But, I mean, I just kind of think that if he stays healthy and has a monster year, it'll probably go back up to that, if not more. And then I have one Prism... Draft picks, Oregon edition of Justin Herbert rookie autograph to 35 PSA 10. 
That's another one that was like a thousand plus at the time. I'm not sure what it's at now, but that's another one I kind of held on to. Patty Mahomes. Brees Hall. <laughs> Two color patch to 99. Well, yeah, but you probably sold those cards before the pandemic really boomed, so. Again, no one could have predicted that. You had to have been like a hoarder and been like those kind of people that are like, no, nah, I can't get rid of it. I, I just, just feel like it's so undervalued. So undervalued. A lot of those people that decided to hold on to a lot of those cards are obviously probably really rich if they got rid of them. <laughs> you know, but no one could have predicted that. So, like I said, you just had to have you just had to have been those kind of hoarders that just didn't want to get rid of stuff. Joe Burrow. Stars to 249. CJ 2K to 50. Mechi. Got a uh, Stafford. Jerome Ford. Well, yeah, those are peachy PSA 10s are like a million dollars now. Sevens, I have to assume, are like eight to 15,000. Ball Melton. Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be the high-end sports card world, <laughs> which I guess it should bring value to everything, but I, I expect it to be like, obviously, uh, uh, his, his previous movie with the whole betting situation, what was it called? Uh, I forget what it's called, but yeah, it's, it's going to be all legit, like high-end shit. It's going to be like those cards that go for like a millions of dollars, ten, tens of millions. I guarantee you he's going to feature like a Mickey Mantle. I guarantee you. He'll feature like a Mickey Mantle. He'll feature like a Ty Cobb. Maybe even like one of the bigger basketball RPAs like Luca, that sold like his, his uh, one-on-one shield. You know, it'll be shit like that is what I think they'll feature. More than anything. Wandale Robinson. I mean, he's a big sports guy, Rex. I mean, obviously, if it's going to be similar to what Uncut Gems was, with the same people making it, then, I mean, he's the right guy. I mean, that doesn't mean that they're not going to actually get cameos of actual people in the hobby, especially that are actually in the high-end sports card world. You know, but... If it's going to be something like that, I'd assume it's going to be like some kind of controversy, of course. Obviously, if they're going to make it into like a movie. So it should be fun. And plus, he's, he's a big sports fan, so. Not, not the craziest thing. Uh, Trayvon Walker to 50. It's like, uh, sorry, thank you, Rex. Uncut Jabs. It's like, you know, when that one scene where, like, he, like, gets a fuck, he gets, like, KG's ring and then quickly pawns it to somebody. <laughs> I was like, dude, this guy, man, he just, just pawned this dude's championship ring. The Kobe Dean. Matthew Stafford. Bailey Zappi. Nice three color patch there. That's to 99. And we got David Ajabo. Great player of the two as well to 50. Brees Hall to 99. We got a lot of Brees Hall in this year. Jets, Matt Johnson. Matt Johnston is actually killing it. Alright, guys. Halfway through. 
halfway through. Yeah. Well, you're much older than I am, Rex. I mean, I definitely remember him in SNL, but I was such a little ass kid. Obviously, his earliest movies when he was on his own are the ones that I remember the most. Oh, but, I mean, to be where he's at now, you know, to have his own kind of, like, you know, directing crew, probably, you know, Happy Madison. I think that's the one thing he really wanted to do is, like, serious roles. I think everybody just kind of thought of him as the the comedian only, you know? Kind of just like Jim Carrey, like... One of my favorite Jim Carrey movies that's actually a very serious movie, and it's kind of sad, really, is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. That's, like, one of my favorite movies. And it's like, that's Jim Carrey, you know? Like, being the, the, uh, the serious actor in that, you know? Hey, what up, Brody? Did you see what I got you in the first break? <laughs> that was a weird autograph. I did get you some Falcon Tank, but we went way back. see anybody's I don't see anybody's I don't see anybody I don't think it's it's not wrong for like someone like Keenan Thompson to just you know stay at SNL too right I mean that one interview with like Adam Farley and and, and um, what's his name David Spade he was talking to they were talking to that chick I forget her name but uh, you know he even says like a lot of people decide to a lot of people think like you know once you make it from a test and out and you're such a big SNL like you know comedian that you're gonna get to be in the movies you're gonna get to do that and you know like for Keenan Thompson for instance like I love that he's actually stayed on this long and why try to go do more you know maybe kind of accept that that's what you are right I mean there's nothing wrong with that you don't need to be taken seriously And yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, there's no need to leave. If you know, a lot of people decide, hey, I actually, I'm this is I'm I'm bigger than SNL in the sense, like, right? I, I can do more, so I definitely I'm, I'm I'm end up leaving, which is fine, you know. But hits. It's like I think of like Jason Sudeikis. Like that's when I really was watching a lot of SNL, like as a as an older like teenager into my early 20s um you know with like Jason Sudeikis on there and stuff and like look at him now you know like killing it with like Ted Lasso and shit you know Trent McDuffie you know a couple movies he did We're the Millers Chris Godwin. Cam Taylor Britt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all of those guys. I mean, those guys ended up leaving and have all done, like, really funny and amazing stuff, right? You know? I've watched a couple seasons of Portlandia with Fred Armisen. You know. I still have actually yet to watch Bill Hader's show. That's really, really good. I know I know it's good. Uh, what is it, Barry? I just haven't really got, got onto it. Because at, at one point, I didn't have HBO. I wasn't paying for the subscription. And just recently, like the last year or two. More like the last year. I finally started paying for it. So, I definitely need to kill that, too. And, of course, I've always liked Will Forte, you know. I love this show, Last Man on Earth, you know, especially when it first came out. Him doing MacGruber and stuff. Zamir White. But yeah. 
But you know what I mean? Like, all of those guys have all gone and done, like, really good, really good stuff. So, yeah, you, know, you could go out and be even more successful, but, you know, you don't really need to, though, right? It's like, it's okay for it's okay to be only an SNL cast, cast member for, for a long time. All right, that's Zamir White, though. That's going to the... Uh, to the Raiders, Brody. All right, we got seal of approval, Joe Mixon. I know, Brody. I, I actually was tied up with some things that unfortunately I couldn't watch it, but uh, I, I did see the highlights and the score whenever I could. And oh uh, yeah, man, I'm telling you, Oregon's rolling. They, what they really needed was just like I said yesterday. They really needed that 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 butt whooping by uh, by Georgia. Honestly, not saying they're gonna go win the national championship, but they're playing at a really really high level right now. And Bo Nix since that game and just Oregon's offense and. You know, somewhat for the defense has, has looked amazing. But more offensively. Drew Locke. Bo Melton. I would love for them to make more McGrubers, but like... I forget how it ended again, but I don't. I don't think the ending left it open for another season, did it? Or actually, you know what? I think it did. Actually, sorry, you're right. It did. They did leave it open for another one. Now I remember. Uh, Damian Pierce. But uh, yeah, I would love for them to do more. <laughs> that <laughs> the show was really good. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, it was really good. It's just so dumb, but it's so funny. David Bell to fifty. Ty Chandler. All right, guys, last two boxes here. Sorry about that, guys. Had a really long, long day, but thank you, guys. I wasn't here the first half, couldn't be here for the first few hours, but thankfully Chris was able to cover you guys, cover for me, and was able to uh, rip some products with you guys. He did a certified, he did two NT uh, World Cup soccer's, he did a WWE, so I'm glad that he was actually doing some stuff, so... The way him covering wasn't just sitting here and doing nothing, you know? And I appreciate you guys, of course, selling this out here late night as well. You know, we had a rocking day yesterday. At the end of the day, when you look at what we did today, we actually had another really good day. Three total certified breaks, two NTs. Uh, World Cup, yeah, that is. We're going to do with NT, World, uh, NT Baseball. We did two, two impeccables. Not bad for a Saturday night, especially how, how busy we were yesterday, so... And like I mentioned earlier, guys, I will post it more certified if Nick hasn't already. I just wasn't going to post it until I was done with all this stuff. So just kind of stay up a little bit if you're going to want to potentially win or uh, buy some of your teams. I'll most likely post it right when I'll have to head off. I mean, uh, same for me. I mean, I'm sure I haven't pulled nothing for people today. And then he pulled people's stuff to today too, yeah. You know? It happens. Uh, 
All right, here we go. Malik Willis. Whoa, look at that patch. Two out of five. New generation. It's like the Titans logo. That is uh, Chad Wright with the Tennessee Titans. Nice patch. Mark Andrews. Ninety nine Javante Williams. Adam Thielen. Kenny Pickett, new generation relic. That one's for the Steelers and Jared. George Pickens. Whoa. There's your ink. Pray for London. Drake London, one out of 25. Solid, solid. You got Cam Jordan. Ingram. And Hassan Haskins. What a box. And that's out of 25. Three color patch and autograph. One of 25. Man, if that was a Malik Willis, that would have been awesome. A lot of Brees Hall today, guys. Especially in this break. We got a good break for the Jets, Matt Johnson. Last one here, folks. Good luck. Dalvin Cook. Another Ritter right there. More Ritter. A little patch. It's a 99. Drew Bledsoe. Mirror signatures to 25 for the Patriots. Uh, Minku with the Patriots. CD Lamb for the Cowboys to 249. We got Nick Chubb to 275. We got a Kyler Gordon to 189. Wow. Oh, I thought that was an autograph there. Sorry, Brody. A little too excited. But two Desmond Ritter relics, though. Not too shabby. Kyler Murray to 25. Rex, I've never seen anything Star Trek. <laughs> if that's what it, if that's what a Star Trek is, yeah. What is Stargate? No. Anything that has to do with stars, I've only seen Star Wars. <laughs> Was never into anything else. And ended off here with a little Carson Strong. Nice four color patch to seventy five. And again. Sucks. I know he's not even on the Eagles anymore, but he's gonna be all over Eagles products because he was part of the rookie premiere for them. Uh, Spectrum number three is not sold out. We have to sell out that pack filler. That's down to 23, and that's probably going to happen tomorrow. And then Spectrum number four is not even sold out yet either. We have 12 teams left remaining, man. So we don't break it until it officially sells out. Um, I would say definitely number three tomorrow, and maybe, maybe we could probably do number four tomorrow. But there's no guarantee, of course. Um, but... Uh, yeah, sorry about that, buddy. I can't really give you an exact date and time. But I think three should definitely go tomorrow. Alrighty, guys, and there you go. That was the break. Uh, very nice stuff popping out of here. So here's all the autos really quick. Got a little Bledsoe out of 25 right there. Gold. Drake London. Nice patch there. Malik Willis. Romanowski. 
And a number one overall pick, Trayvon Walker, CJ 2K, Brees Hall, Jamison Williams, more Brees Hall. Some very, very nice ones. So I appreciate it, guys. This is break number six. Numbers uh, seven and eight. I'll post them later tonight. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.